It's been nearly three months since 3 released their voiceover LTE calling technology which was running on the 800MHz band and currently it supports about 5 or 6 handsets including the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6S as per the latest carry update. However, today I have spotted and a number of us in forums have spotted that EE is now also doing voiceover LTE which means that during a call your device will stay on 4G rather than dropping to 2G or 3G like it does typically now. It seems that their voiceover LTE works perfectly happy on their primary 4G band, so the 1800 MHz band, which they've got rolled out to a large sort of amount nationwide, compared to 3 setup where they only had the voiceover LTE working on the 800 MHz band, which was part of what they called Super Voice. Now, obviously, to, just as I've mentioned, this is very new. It's only in the past few hours that it's been seen that iPhones on the E network with the latest carrier update are able to do this. However, a very sort of interesting and quite a very nice feature has been spotted though, and that's to do with the integration with Wi Fi calling. So, traditionally with Wi Fi calling, moving between say being on your Wi Fi and being on cell towers has been a massive issue, so calls dropping and just handover being generally terrible. And that's due to the way that data is traditionally ha I mean, calls are traditionally handled over 2G and 3G and also over Wi Fi. Because obviously, over Wi Fi, your call's purely IP data, whereas on 2G and 3G, it's separate. However, with 4G, it's pure data, which means that there is this intrinsic capability to handle calls across sort of different access technologies much better than previously. So what this basically means is what's been spotted is the ability to say be on the phone on, the, on a 4G tower and then move into your house where you have the Wi-Fi and the call will then just happily carry on using your Wi-Fi rather than the cell tower. And it also works the other way around as well. So if you start your phone call over Wi-Fi and then move out your house where there isn't Wi-Fi, it will then happily hand over to the 4G mask. Which, as if you think about it, is an incredibly complex process because their integrated call systems have no idea where you are, sort of relative to the cell tower. Or, and also, there are a number of different providers in the UK which use a whole array of different sort of routing mechanisms, trunking, demarcation points, and all that stuff. So for it to actually work so seamlessly as I've seen evidence of is very impressive indeed. Just a final notice about this though, the voiceover LTE only works obviously on specific devices which have the carry update but also on certain masks which are enabled for it. So just because you have an iPhone 6S with the carrier update in an EE 4G area does not mean you'll be able to use the voiceover LTE at this point in time. Now, I don't have very much more information than this because this hasn't been publicly released yet, but I shall keep you informed as soon as I know any more.